G'day everyone, Professor Shoelace here, and after 21 takes of this video, we're just really going to wing it this time. Um, I'm trying to do a video about the Ian knot, the world's fastest shoelace knot. So, here we go. Now, first I'll show it to you at normal speed, so you can see that it really is the world's fastest shoelace knot. Okay, you ready? It's tied. Can't get much faster than that, can you? Now, Inga's going to zoom in a bit here, and we'll um, show it in slow motion. Now, each end grabs a loop, and one of them has a loose end in front, and the other one has a loose end behind. And you'll notice I just basically feed them through each other, through each other's loops, and pull it tight. And at normal speed, it's the world's fastest shoelace knot. Now, don't confuse this with what we call the two-loop knot, which a lot of kids learn in kindergarten. That's where you create bunny ears and tie a knot with them. Okay. The ear knot also has two loops, but obviously it's a lot quicker to just push them through each other than it is to do the whole bunny ears thing. So now, a few advantages of the ear knot. One is that it's completely symmetrical. So unlike the normal one loop, wrap it around the tree type of knot, um, with that knot, one end is always getting more wear and tear than the other. And in fact, that's the end that'll always end up breaking. Now with the ear knot, the wear and tear is spread symmetrically throughout the knot. In fact, I haven't had a breakage for about 20 years since using this knot. Uh, the other advantage about being symmetrical is that, look, people are left or right-handed. So if you're right-handed and you're trying to do that, or if you're left-handed and you're trying to do that, it's a lot more complicated. With the ear knot, it doesn't matter. Left and right-handed people can do it just as easily. So that's terrific for, say, a right-handed parent trying to teach a left-handed child, which happens a lot. Uh, the third thing is that there's fewer steps, so a normal knot where you do this and fold it over and then grab the other end and wrap it around and pull it there and feed that through and pull it tight. There's a lot of steps there for a child to learn and kids with learning sequencing difficulties find that very difficult. With the Ian knot, once you get the starting position correct, it's just a single in-out movement. So that makes it easier for kids to learn. But the funny thing is, no matter which way you do it, whether you tie a standard bunny round the tree knot, or whether you tie a two loop knot, or whether you tie the Ian knot, now all three of those form the identical finished knot. Um, so it doesn't matter which way you tie it, uh, you'll end up with the identical knot and therefore it'll be just as secure as whatever knot you're using now. So anyway, that's it, that's the Ian knot. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you want more detailed instructions and diagrams, go to Ian's Shoelace site.